Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this review, update review for my Google Pixel 7 Pro. And at the beginning of the video, you've seen it, you witnessed it. Yeah, that fingerprint reader, it's flawless. It's fast and it works every single freaking time. And we have face unlock, which is also amazing, not just on the 7 Pro, but also with the 7, the little brother of the new Pixel smartphone series. Now, when it comes to performance, amazing. Does that mean I don't get a little bit of a hiccup here and there? No, there are certain apps that I have used for quite some time that I will experience a little bit of a hiccup. When I go over to my Google feed, every once in a while it happens and it's, it's like, it happens so quick, but you can feel it. Uh, for my wife, it happens a lot over at Facebook. I, I don't use Facebook, but she does. Uh, Twitter, sometimes you get a little bit of a hiccup. But it, what I'm talking about is very my, minute, depending on what I'm doing, because uh, as far as uh, how I use my smartphones, uh, and I talked about this in the Google Pixel 7 review, there's three uh, different categories. There's the, the first category where I push my devices heavy during the reviewing process just to see what I can get out of that. I mean, I throw everything at any smartphone I bring in uh, and, they're, and they also create content as well. So that's part of the reviewing process. And then there's the second category and that's basically when the reviewing process is said and done. But I'm not done creating content. That happens here and there. But I'm waking up in the morning, I'm going throughout my day using my 7 Pro, whether it's phone calls, texting, uh, if I'm at work on break or lunch watching some videos, maybe uh, a little bit of a movie, uh, listening to music, maybe doing some homework on the web, little social media. Uh, it's, it's normal usage. Number three is multitasking. Now, sometimes, I just want to create content because I want to share. Maybe it's a rumor that I want to share. Maybe it's an update to a product I reviewed. Uh, maybe I just want to say, hey, what is up? But still using my 7 Pro casually like I do throughout the day. But if I do create some content, that means there's going to be that editing, there's going to be that processing and the uploading. And what I don't want to experience when I'm casually using my 7 Pro while all that's going on is major hiccups, major lag, overheating, which I'm not getting. Nothing's going on to report that is taking away the great experience that I'm having on my 7 Pro. It's a solid device, man. Totally digging the camera bar. Definitely have a lot of protection going on here with the Soapy Guard skin, leather texture skin, protecting that shiny metal aluminum slab that can scratch very easily. And that's why I have that protection. If you're not gonna have a skin, at least get a glass protector for that area. Uh, sport a case like I do. I got a clear case over here from Rinky, the Rinky Fusion clear case. And you got a lot of protection there where the camera bar area is too, see that? Got the uh, official review up here on TMI Project 13, so if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. No creaks, no squeaks, very solid, feels great in hand, but having it in a case makes me feel a lot better in protecting uh, my 7 Pro, slightly curved display, 1440p, 6.7 inch, 120 hertz. Beautiful, beautiful display. Watching movies, my media intake with this display is gorgeous. The colors are beautiful, very smooth. Look at that, up and down and up and down. Getting into my app folders. Very nice and smooth transition there. Going over to YouTube, let's do that. Let's go over to my videos. All right, let's check out this video right here really quick. Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this video vlog on a beautiful fall day with the Google Pixel 7 Pro 4K, 30 frames per second, utilizing the voice voice enhancement feature and uh hopefully everything sounds great right now yeah everything does sound great mr my project 13 
Uh, but again, very smooth transitions, just overall a smooth experience when it comes to performance and functionality. Battery life on my 7 Pro is a thumbs up. It is great for what I throw at it. It's not always gonna be the same as far as screen on time. There's, you know, three weeks ago I said I was about five hours screen on time to six and a half. I've gotten to seven, seven and a half. So yeah, it's changed a little bit, but it's again, it's depending on what type of day I have, which is gonna be different than yours, right? Battery life is subjective. We know that. Now, I don't turn everything off as far as what I wanna utilize just to save battery life either. Uh, as far as my brightness, I think that's about, about 80 to 90% right there. Uh, and if I go to display, 85% and screen timeout after 30 minutes of inactivity. Let's see. Screen resolution 1440p. Smooth display is on. 120 hertz refresh rate. And what else did I want to look at here? Always on display is going. Uh, there was something else. Battery. Battery saver, off. So yeah, I mean, there's obviously gonna be some areas that I don't use and there's areas that I do use. But yeah, no, I, I, I have on what I need and I turn off what I don't need. I'm pretty stoked with what I get. I don't know if that helps you. It's something that's talked about during the reviewing process. And when we're, uh, a lot of YouTubers put up their reviews, we, we talk about battery life. I, I, I honestly don't like talking about battery life anymore. Uh, today's devices uh, get it done and we have fast charging. We, we can utilize uh, that. Just get a little more juice and finish out the day, depending on what you threw at your device that day. So there you go. That's battery life for my 7 Pro. Now, as far as the cameras on the rear and on the front, thumbs up. I'm not going to go into specifics. I'm just going to throw up some photos, day and night photos, some low light photos, and you'll be the judge. Leaving some feedback down below in the comment section. I'm going to throw in some video clips utilizing 4K 30 frames per second on the front and on the rear. Why not 60 frames per second? Because at 60 frames, you can't use voice enhancement which is amazing, especially if you love the vlog like I do in the car. If you're a YouTuber and you like to do that, use voice enhancement. So anyway, check out these photos, check out the video clips, and please leave some feedback. Video test, voice enhancement is on. You can utilize that tool, 4K 30, 1080p 30. If you want to uh, shoot at 1080p 60 or 4K 60, cannot use the voice enhancement. And I just happen to love this uh, tool. When in the camera, recording video, especially front facing video, it just, it's, it's amazing. You can totally tell the difference. Um, as, as how the mics just focus in on me, my my voice, 
and it pretty much silences everything else that's going on. So that's really, really cool. Stability is on. Visually, front and back cameras when shooting video, just visually stunning. Google has definitely stepped up their game in this area and uh, I can I can see it, I can feel it. Fall, winter, it is here, man. It's 40 degrees, the wind is blowing. That wind's coming out of the gorge and it is, it is pretty cold. It's pretty cold. Anyway, let's uh, continue on with this review. Hopefully you enjoyed the photos and the video. Now we're going to do a uh, quick speaker test. I'm gonna play some free non-copyright music. So, well, you know the line, so I don't get in trouble. So let's go here. To my power amp music player. video clips to end the video. Really appreciate all of you coming on by and checking out this review update on my Google Pixel 7 Pro. Right now we are at 1080p 60, no voice enhancement because you can't utilize that tool at 1080p 60. Got my window down on the freeway, a lot of noise coming in. And then I'm gonna switch over to 1080p 30 which, in my opinion, does better with shooting video in the dark like this. All right, I'm back. Window is still down, a lot of noise coming into my car. And you should be able to tell the difference in the audio that's being fed into your ears. It's freaking amazing. Totally digging it. You gotta use it if you're gonna be vlogging in a noisy area especially in a noisy area. Um, again, thanks for watching. Any questions, please leave that down below in the comment section. I'm gonna roll the window up now. Um, if there's anything I missed, please uh, ask and I will do my best to get that information to you in a timely fashion. Basically just sharing my experience. I hope that it helps some of you and make it a decision on whether this is the smartphone for you or not. It is definitely up there with other flagships, but again, it, it, it's what you want. You know, it, it, if it doesn't check the boxes, then it doesn't check the boxes. If it does, then cool. Watching this video, other YouTubers that have content out on this smartphone is going to help doing your homework, reading information. It's your money, spend it well. But I'm digging this device and it's definitely a go. And with that, God bless you all. We are now at wide angle mode. You can hear the creaking of my iAudi dash now. Uh, stay safe and healthy, man. Enjoy the holidays, they're coming fast. We'll be gone just like that. Time to take a drink. I'm gonna make a piece of coffee and uh, send you all off.